کلمہ شہادت ہے اشد اللہ الہ الا اللہ وحد اللہ شریق اللہ اشد النّ محمد نبد ہوا رسول ناؤ دے آر ٹو پارٹس ان دس کلیمہ دے آر ٹو پارٹس ان دس کلیمہ فرسٹ پارٹ از اشد اللہ الہ الا اللہ وحد اللہ شریق اللہ دس دا ون پارٹ وچ بلونگس ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ دا سیکنڈ ون ریلیٹس ٹو رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و اشد ان محمد عبد و رسول نو وٹ از دا مین اشد اللہ الہ الا اللہ وحد اللہ شریق اللہ Yeah, Allah is one. Yeah, Imam Sahib, we all, we all know that. We've been listening to this from our childhood. But are you, do you really know what does that mean? When you say, Ashadu la ilaha illallah wa ahdahu la sharika lahu. That means Allah has complete control over my life. Allah has complete control over my daily routine. What is happening in my life? Who's coming in my life? Allah knows and Allah is the one who's sending. Anyone who's going away from my life, my dad is dying, my mom is dying, the car I wanted, I did not get the car. I wanted to move to this house, but Allah gave me some different house. I wanted to marry that person, but I couldn't marry that person. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decision. I wanted to get that job, but I didn't get that job, the one I loved. And I did course for that. I went to uni and spent my seven years in that uni because of that course. You planned something else. Allah planned something else. You plan to have something. You wanted to go somewhere in different country, but you couldn't go. You wanted to stay in this country, but Allah sent you back to Pakistan. You wanted to stay in Pakistan. Allah sent you here. You wanted to have more kids. Allah did not give you no kids. You wanted to have boys. Allah gave you five girls. You, had, you wanted to have girls. Allah gave you three boys. That means it is all written in our decree. It is written in our faith. This is meaning of Ashadu la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu. That I plan and then Allah plan. If anything is going against my planning, that means that is the planning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I bow my head down. That's it. Front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the meaning of Muslim. Muslim who, who bows his head down front of the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who does not complain all the time. You know what is the... Definition of complaining and doing sabr is coming from the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when the last son of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala anhu, when he was dying in the hands of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was crying. He was crying so much, his whole beard got wet and the, the drops of his tears were dripping from his beard. And Sahaba were crying right next to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They looked at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they said, Ya Rasulullah, you crying? Because they know He's Nabi, why is he crying? They were amazed, Ya Rasulullah, you crying? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, My eyes are crying, my heart is sad, but my tongue will only say that what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala likes. Whatever pleases Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, I'm not going to go against the Sharia. The meaning of this hadith is, your tears are not in your control. Your heart feelings are not in your control, but your tongue is in your control. When something goes on in your life, Don't complain, don't open your mouth, just say Alhamdulillah, Inna Lillahi wa Inna Lillahi Rajeeun. Everything goes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the person Allah loves. Second part of Kalima is Washa Anna Muhammad and Abduhu wa Rasulu than the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger and the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Messenger. You don't have to say I love him if you are obeying him. And if you are not obeying him, there is no point saying I love you. You cannot love your mother and you are at the same time disobeying your mother. Your mother is telling you, do this for me, do that for me, do this for me. And there you say, no, no, I love you, but I can't do this. I love you, but I can't do this. I'm playing PS4, PS5, I'm going for March, I'm talking to my friend, but I love you, mother. No, you are liar. You're lying. You are not truthful in your statement because your words are going against your actions. So here you are saying, I love you, Ya Rasulullah. And there you're going against his teachings. You, are, you don't look like a Muslim. 